Hey everybody, it's AJ from alphapixel.net here with a little quick tip on how to adjust the easing of your point level animations. Some of you might not know what point level animation is and I'll just demonstrate really quick on this cube. You drop a cube in, we'll convert it to be editable and we'll grab our selection tool, grab some points. So normally down here you have your position, scale, rotation, and parameters selected. If we also, if we uncheck those and we check this little uh, grid here, you'll see it pops up point level animation, which lets us record the keyframes of our vertexes. So here we'll set a keyframe at zero where it's the basic cube and in frame 20 we'll move those and we'll move these as well and set a keyframe. So there you can see the vertexes are being recorded with keyframes. But what's different here, once you go down in the timeline, you can click on your cube and uh, twirl down into the PLA object here. Normally when you select keyframes, you get a little pop-up here that lets you uh, select the keyframe interpolation to be either linear or spline. And the PLA uh, track has none of that. It actually only has the basic parameters. And I will say that it does have this bias, which you can, if you watch the curve here, you can change the bias to either do one of two things, ease in or ease out. But that is not very customizable. You kind of get one or the other. So just really quick, all we need to do is add a time track to this. I know that may sound scary, but time tracks are really easy actually using it on this really showed me how awesome time tracks are. So if we just select the cube object here and go into create, add special tracks, time track, we get a new parameter called time. And the first thing you'll see is it actually extends the track all the way to the end, uh, extends the length of your clip here. And we'll look at what that does here. So what you need to do with the time track, you select whatever parameter you want. So point level animation is the one we want to affect. You get this little time track uh, empty box here. So drag your time track that you just created into that box. And now all of your animation is contained within that time track. So you'll see that it goes beyond the 20 seconds now and it goes to the full length of our clip because that's how long our time track is. If you want to bring it back to what we originally had, just bring your time track back to frame 20, and now everything's just the way it was. All linear keyframes and everything. So twirl down your time track. Now we have access to the time tracks curve properties. So we can adjust that however we want. And the cool thing is you can even reverse time but we'll look at that in a second. First, we'll just concentrate on the easing. So just select your time track, and here's the weird thing. It has interpolation. This is what we wanted before that was missing from the PLA, but what's weird is whether it's linear or spline, which usually is an ease, it's still linear. All we need to do to fix that is just select the spline and right click on it and go down to the auto tangents classic and now we have easing and there it is ease in ease out and of course we could drag one of these and super ease out if we wanted to amazing and the cool thing is too you can even extend that out and you can make it longer if you want you can drag that let's see let's drag it down let's go drag it up in the middle oh kind of messed that up. Either way, look, you can see it's reversing time. So at the very top is 100%. That's where the track ends. And you can bring it back down to 0%, which is where the track began. So you can increase time and then reverse time. It can be really, really useful when working with just about anything. So obviously you can use time tracks for any kind of animation, not just point level. But it does let you access easing with point level animation. So just a really quick tip for you guys. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you have anything to add to that, just feel free to hit me up in the comments and I'll include the scene file on the website freebie page. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.